Yeah, guys, we're talking iCarly, which is back for a second season this Friday on Paramount+. Plus. The new episodes, there are 10 of them, pick up after the events of Carly's love triangle in the finale, and it teases a surprise Drake and Josh cameo. Let's take a look. Now all hands in on three. One, two, three. Yay! 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 You probably should have gone over it before. I'm in a hot, hot relationship. Wait, with who? What a rude question. <laughs> Did you want iCarly to be the most successful web series in history? Or did you want it to just be like a massive failure? I mean, probably the most successful web series in history. Duh. We're going out! Yes. Are those unicorn pajamas? Did you see he's dabbing? Damn. What does it mean to you that this is a show that when the first season of the reboot came out, people were like, yes, this is the way to do it. It's followed the core tone of the original, but it's allowed the characters to mature. Um, it felt great to get, you know, such positive feedback from the first season because we were all really nervous the day it came out. We really made the show for the original fans and it's just nice that those people grew up with us and that they still like the show today. It's really yeah. cool. Have you heard from fans who watched it when they were younger who said, you guys are totally nailing my life? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll be out and people will come up and say, like, you know, you were my childhood because I watched this show like when I was little and people really do feel like they grew up alongside us. This is what I'm talking about! Let's hear the love! Yeah! It's also just crazy because I grew up on the iCarly set. Mm -hmm. I started when I was 13 and we finished the show when I was 20, the original run. So it's just so weird to be there as a full adult now and just kind of get to experience it in a new way. We've been waiting years for you two to get together. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh! We got a little bit of tease in the trailer. Josh Peck is joining yeah. you guys. He's playing Carly's manager. What was it like getting back on set with him? It was so much fun getting to work with Josh again. He was, when I first met him, I was eight years old mm -hmm. and it was for the last audition for the show Drake and Josh that I was on when I was little. Yeah. And he's just been such a big part of my life ever since I was a kid. So to get to grow up and have him play Carly's manager on iCarly and be in multiple episodes this season, it just kind of felt like a full circle moment. It begins. I thought it already began. Oh, it's begun. <laughs> Is there any chance we're gonna get a, a Drake Bell cameo on the show as well? I don't know, but um, you know, I'm up for anybody who used to be uh, on the old series, or I try to get as many of my friends too, just yeah. to come on the show, because it's fun. This is dinner's really important to my dad. He's trying to get a promotion. Yeah, well, my band's show tonight is just as important as your dad's dinner. Hey, he's your dad now too, you know. Whatever. I feel like a lot was made about their feud. What's your take on this? It just seems to be perpetual. Every like time the there's wedding. like a, yeah, yeah. Every time it's like, oh, we're cool. And then all of a sudden now we're not cool again. And now we are. I don't know. I kind of don't even really keep up with all of it that much, but um, I'm just super happy for, for Josh. He just has like a book that just came out. So I'm just yeah. happy for him. I know the book very, how much of the book was a surprise to you? Were there yeah. parts of it that you read and, and thought to yourself like, oh my God, I never knew this about him. It I mean, there's really... a pretty big confession about uh, substance abuse, which I feel like I, even people closest to him might not know. Yeah, I really didn't know um, a lot of the stuff that was in it. So it was kind of, you know, surprising and also like just amazing everything that he's done and overcome. And um, I thought his story was like really incredible. Yeah, he talked interestingly about um, not really able, not really being able to identify with the younger version of himself until mm -hmm. he was older. Did you have any, any struggle with that as a, you know, somebody who came to acting very, very young and, and grew up staying in the business? For sure. Just from going on a lot of auditions, uh, like starting at a really young age, I think that that kind of does something a little weird to you just because you're always trying to play different characters and you're also at the same time trying to figure out who you are because you're growing up. Yeah, it's interesting because obviously having been on TV for so long, I think people see Carly and think that that is you. So much yeah. so that when you were on uh, Whitney Cummings' podcast and you swore, that went viral. I mean, what was your what was your take on that? I definitely didn't expect that. Um, I love Whitney, she's, she's really funny and when I went on her podcast, I was kind of, I'm just not edgy at all. And it's so funny because the thing that went viral is probably like the wildest thing I said in the whole podcast. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to like be cool with her and it turned into this whole TikTok trend. It did, everybody got in on it. And we <laughs> pulled some of our favorites. Let's take a look and then we'll talk about it. Well, I actually do cuss a little. Do you? <laughs> also, What's yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably <laughs> Well, I actually do cuss a little. Do you? <laughs> also, What's yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably <laughs> I actually do cuss a little. Do you? Also, yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably 
I mean Lizzo. <laughs> I love Lizzo. Lizzo. That's so cool. Which one of those was your favorite? Well, I'd have to probably go with Josh just because he's my friend and it cracked me up that he did it. But I love them all. Joe Jonas is great. This, I mean, this is, is this going to be your TikTok legacy now? I mean, if it is, I'll take it. Let's talk about the Kids' Choice Awards this weekend. Um, you're going to be hosting with Gronk. Yeah. How do you wrangle Gronk's energy? He's you like don't. a big kid himself. <laughs> you think you've got the stamina to pull off 1,000 slimings? Wait, how many? Yeah, um, I'm just I'm super excited to get to do it with him because he has awesome energy. He's so game for anything. And even doing the promos with him for the show was so much fun. He got slimed worse than anyone I've ever seen get slimed in my whole life. Yeah! He has so much to learn. Which of the presenters or performers that you can talk about now that are, are you really looking forward to seeing? Well, I'm super excited that Kid Cudi and Jack Harlow are performing, and um, I'm just excited for the whole experience. You're gonna have a great time, <laughs> trust you. me. Um, now, before we let you go, obviously, uh, School of Rock is coming up on its 20th anniversary. Um, we spoke to Jack Black oh, no a way. couple days ago. My best memories are just that group of kids uh, and how funny and great they were, and yeah. it's definitely the highlight of my career. I can say that, honestly. That prompted us to go back and dig through our footage to find some of your first interviews with us. Oh my god. So uh, let's take a look at that, actually. Oh no. Like in one of the scenes, um, when he kicks over the desk and we're all laughing, that's all genuine, like we're actually laughing. So they put a lot of that Jack. in the movie, which is really cool. I want you to give us your best Jack Black impression. <laughs> a face, a sound, a moment. All Go. Right. He likes to do that a lot. What? What are you what doing? Was that? that was so not Jack Black in any way, shape, or form. It's pretty good. Do you have a, like, a memory that stands out from set Maybe that, like, me. yeah? Um, yeah, I have so many memories. Um, just getting to go to New York for the first time, it was my first time going on a plane. Getting When I was in the movie, I did it when I was nine years old. Um, first movie I've ever been in. Yeah, have you ever, have you run into Jack in the, since then? Yeah, I've seen him. He was actually um, in an episode of iCarly, uh, the original iCarly. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you have an updated Jack Black impression? <laughs> if I do it like that, what did I do? I was like, <laughs> Angry face at the camera. It was very strange. Uh, it Miranda, has improved. Thank you so much, <laughs> iCarly, this week, uh, and then the Kids' Choice this uh, this weekend. A lot going on. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.